Coast Man Strange Ban Log or Bandar Lok Hindi Monkey People were an undiscovered tribe undiscovered tribe of India reported in the early nineteenth century. They're described as hairy people resembling orangutans with their own language. Henry Pinkington described the Bangdor log as short and flat nosed with porch like wrinkles wrinkles in the semicircles of their mouths and cheeks, disproportionately long arms, reddish hair growing on their back on their black skin, compared them to orangutans and the Indian labourers who compared them to monkeys. They spoke their own language, which had a sorry degree of mutual intelligibility with the Dengar language. Sightings, 1824 or 1825. Some native labourers under Henry Pinkerton working on a coffee plantation allegedly captured a pair of what they called monkey people. According to Pinkerton, the people were flocking from all quarters to see what they called the monkey people. Upon inquiring who these people were, he informed me that they that with the last gang of Dengaras they had arrived two persons, a man and a woman, who exactly like joint Great, like great monkeys, sir, and they did call from the monkey people. Bangor law. They cannot even talk the Bangor language properly, sir, but they have a language of their own. I desire these people to be sent for. And certainly they, they, in all respects, especially the men, the man justified the effort at that the villagers had applied to them, whose short, flat nose and porch-like wrinkles in semicircles around the corners of the mouth and cheeks. His arms are disproportionately long. There's a portion of reddish hair to be seen on the rusty black skin. Altogether, if he crouched in a dark corner on a tree, he might well have been mistaken for a large orangutan. Orangutan. A woman was equally ugly. These people definitely, evidently, so different from the Dagaras, so, consi- and so considered by them too, it, that it was impossible not to be, as if, were, as it were, convinced they were a different race. Of this, the great unquestionable proof was their language, if not only the great difficulty, and by the aid of signs that one of the Dagaras, eventually, a very clever fellow, could make out them understand the questions put to them, result of which was they lived a long way off from their garage in the jungles and mountains. They were only a few villages of them, and in consequences of an accident or quarrel, a man had killed a man of another village, of which his own people were about to deliver him up, in fear of which he fled his wife, and after passing a long time wandering in the jungles, they fallen in, in with my party dog girls, had given them food and brought them down in their company. The latter part of their story was collaborated by the Dunga Sandara, who said they was nearly starved when his people met with them. A Dunga, who had acted as an interpreter, said that some of their words sounded like his talk, and they understood a good many words of Dunga language. All agreed they had never seen or heard these people before. And for the all this so curious, I told him immediately I should send them to Kolkata to a gentleman who wished to learn their language and hear about their country. They should have good pay and would have get some presents. My intention was to send them to my friend, a partner, G. J. Gordon Esquire, Macintosh and Co., for Dr. Abel's inspection, that of the Aesthetic Aesthetic Society. I never supposed that instant that this could possibly alarm them, so I did not note any any exact description of them. It seems, however, they did so. And as I suppose a man thought perhaps I was going to send him to prison for his homicide, which act, by the way, he explained very clearly to us both signs as well as words. Of all that I was frightened in some way by the Dengars villagers. The next morning it's found that they had desconded. I've, I could never hear of them again. 
to my great disappointment, for I thought I could still, I could still feel certain that they were a race, utterly different from the goals and dangos, and probably approaching to the vendors of Salon. I hope it would not be thought as extravagant, I suppose. It really were a small forest tribe buried somewhere in the vast jungles of our wild country between Panadol, Sagburuha, and the headwaters of Nebari. I place my recollection of them now before society and hope that by giving him publicity, publicity, we may direct inquiry to the subject of perhaps rescue from utter obliteration, remembrant of one original Aboriginal races of India, who, as appearance may well, just for a singular myth of Andaraz, Aitarama, the conquest of Lanka, which will be, like all other myths, has no doubt a remote foundation in truth, such as what one of instances the tradition that people assisted the Guru God of this war were like monkeys, which would have been very true, said for the forefathers, this single race. Since foregoing has written in the September last, I have lately turned in conversation with my friend Dr. Falconer, a very remarkable confirmation of views is set forth. Dr. Falconer states that when in London he had imitated with Mr. Jorali for many years, Commissioner Carmona, that man, gentleman, told Dr. Falconer that hearing but from the native curious accounts of race of men who, like monkeys, lived in trees, habited in the depths of the forest, the tenancy, he, after, after much fault, succeeded in having one man brought to him, whose appearance was almost extraordinary, and fully justified the effort of the Bangador law, look, which the natives applied to him, but totally found him to be excessively So they found him excessively timid and alarmed, although he was due to of keeping him for a short time, had to introduce him, he tried to enter into some intercourse with the regency. He would not deter him, and so giving him some presents, he sent him away. Nothing was ever heard of him, or of any of his tribe afterwards. We have this thus upon three several points of continental India, in durable fact of the Count of Tabara, Chabadong, three Inhabiting race, as I think, official. There are wrong tribes existing which have nat- native traditional names, lichens, to the orangutan, and to my own knowledge, certainly bears them out of, for the gloom of the forest. An individual, I might, I saw might as well pass, orangutan as man. What are these singular people? Theories Pinkerton believed that the members of an undiscovered tribe, similar to Vandos of Saline, Bengali of Ophologists, Satrat Chararoi, suggested tentatively they could have been Bengora people, who described of long matted hair covering their faces. Monkey, monster quests connected them to the monkey men of New Delhi.